हेलो एम एस सी एफ टी टूडेज टॉपिक इज प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ कॉर्न एंड कॉर्न प्रोडक्ट्स एज वी कैन सी द पिक्चर ऑफ कॉर्न नोन इन मेनी कंट्रीज एज मेज इट इज अ डोमेस्टिकेटेड ग्रेन amount of nutrients as you can see in the table the amount of nutrients carbohydrates all amount of nutrients in 100 gram of corn carbohydrate calcium dietary fiber fat folate iron magnesium all you can see now the health benefits of corn the high amount of fiber present in corn helps lower cholesterol levels and also reduce the risk of colon cancer as we have seen <coughs> that uh, per 100 gram 2.7 gram of dietary fiber is there but this is the dry one if we eat the wet one uh, means cooked in water then it can swallow up to 17% the amount of fiber can increase by swallowing water by 17% as we all know that uh, fiber helps in the digestion in the lower intestine because it does not digest in the upper intestine and it helps to form feces to so it reduces the risk of cancer then it helps in lowering the cholesterol levels also by lowering the fat levels because fiber binds everything which does not digest now second is corn if consumed in moderate quantities has been seen to be beneficial for those suffering from diabetes here moderate quantities are very important not much more than pres prescribed the quantity for each individual and why it is important 9 gram of carbohydrate is there and carbohydrate as we hear that it is not good for diabetes but carbs are of two types a good carbs and bad carbs good carbs have uh, has low glycemic index and bad carbs have high glycemic index now corn has low glycemic index because why it has low glycemic index because uh, food that takes more time to digest the carb that takes more time to digest means that it is complex in nature that has low glycemic index it doesn't raise the glucose level in the blood after consuming it right after consuming it like in sucrose or the simplest form of uh, carbs when we consume the simplest form of carbs it raises right, right after consuming consuming it raises the glucose level of the blood which is not good for diabetes patient the sugar patient now being rich in folate the combination of folate and iron is very special for 
pregnancy as well as development of the heme part of the blood so during pregnancy as well as anemia for both it shows the combination of folate and iron show special positive effect and we have seen in the table that uh, uh, per 100 gram uh, the corn is a very rich source of folate that is 46 gram and iron 0.5 mg now the pentothenic acid we know the function of pentothenic acid thymine and it is very much good for cardiovascular health as well as, as well as gut health as well as the lungs health the specific beta cryptoxanthin in corn makes it good for health of lungs which prevent lung cancer which can prevent lung cancer and obviously fiber is the part of uh, corn which helps like digestive ailment like for constipation and other stomach related diseases or disorders now there are versatile products of corn first and Im most important product of corn is corn starch now Corn is one of the oldest cereal varieties. It originates from a region in present day Mexico. The original corn varieties which only grow in region of tropical and subtropical climate evolved over the years by selective crossing and finally produced high yields and obtained the high ability to grow under moderate climatic condition so for nowadays corn is grown almost or in all of the world now the corn starch industry is a very big industry because it is a one of the most important product of the corn the corn varieties offer improved attributes such as increased starch content easy going processability and special qualities of the starch itself now what are the steps in extraction of starch from corn the basic step that is first is supply and cleaning as we all know that for cereal process processing we have uh, seen in wheat and rice the cleaning of cereal is very much important step and very much longer step in the process of milling so first supplied corn has to pass the incoming inspection that is for standards specifications then the stone cobs dust particles foreign grain materials and fine materials are removed through vigorous cleaning and washing processes and we have uh, learned and studied all the washing and cleaning, uh, cleaning process before now the corn kernels are stored and then conveyed into the steeping tank what are steeping tank these tanks are just the tank for condensation or moisturization process and uh, purified or cleaned corn kernels are transferred into a tank containing steep water that is warm water steep water means warm water 
and uh, temperature is uh, 50 degree centigrade and the steeping is long very long for 40 to 50 hours these are these tanks are commonly series connected and operated by series connected counter flow principle for optimal steaming steeping conditions <clears throat> steep water is kept at pH 4 with the help of combination of acid for example sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid and sulfur dioxide so basically the combination of acid and alkali helps maintaining the pH 4 these conditions guarantee optimal water absorption at this pH at pH 4 corn absorbs pH 4 with the temperature of water 50 degree centigrade it absorbs the maximum water and controlled fermentation by lactic acid bacteria is there for what for what <coughs> the controlled uh, fermentation of uh, lactic acid bacteria is there for the milling purpose what we need in milling by disintegrating the kernel we have seen the in the wheat as well as in rice the kernels are disintegrated in the form uh, in their specific parts like germ endosperm and husk so uh, here for corn disintegration process is done by the water absorption plus controlled fermentation by lactic acid bacteria it loses the protein matrix of the kernel at the same time steep water causes the softening of kernel and release the solubles so softening of the cell structure plus the loosening of protein matrix it facilitates the releasing of cell material inner material of cells to the outer to the to out of the their perspective walls now growth of lactic acid bacteria suppresses unwanted microorganisms such as yeast mold and other bacteria so steeping the size of kernels nearly doubles the the result of steeping that size of kernel nearly doubles and water content increases from 15 percent to up to five percent so these are the effect of steeping so we can see the steeping is the most important step in the milling or processing of corn now the milling or the grinding coarse grinding and degermination means the separation of the germ after steeping one is able to mash the corn kernels with a fingernail and remove the skin easily after this processing step it is also possible to take the germ out of the broken corn kernel this effect is utilized during the so called degermination step the to the to free the germs the kernels are coarsely ground in an attrition mill so what is the attrition mill where slurry is made by the impact between the two metal plates which are grooved or they have the coarse structure the spiny spines are there which are in the two plates and in between the corn kernels are there and this slurry the attrition mill performs two things at a time one is impact and making slurry with the shear 
and with the use of shear between particles with the help of metal cores metal plates and they release the germ the grinding has to be conducted with care to avoid oil leakage out of germs because we need the germ oil otherwise the oil is soaked up by the starch granules that will be the defect because starch granules will convert into the or dried into the powder so we already know that flour doesn't need fat and if fat is present there it is a kind of defect it can initiate the oxidation in the flour when come in the contact with the oxygen so it is a very important step where attrition mill continuously pulverizes the corn and releases the germ to avoid oil leakage and soaking up of oil with by the starch granules separation of specifically lighter germ is conducted by means of special hydrocyclone means the by the counter current of water for complete degermination the grinding and degermination steps are perform performed twice as we have seen in wheat also sieving milling sieving milling they are the consecutive steps same is here the sieving then grinding then degermination process is performed afterwards the germs are washed and dried and finally sold to companies which utilize them for corn oil production now we can see this the flow chart to understand the wet milling process from which the all by products of corn or different types of various kind of products we obtain now we have we can see the corn then steeping process we have understood the steeping process the steeping process differentiate into four different things what by the hydro power or hydro cyclone by the counter current of water flow now what is the grinding screening that differentiate between germ separation that we have studied here in the lecture then germ and heavy steep water plus fiber fiber is mostly made of starch so starch plus heavy steep water and germ separation we understood now starch second one is starch gluten separation we will see the next step of starch gluten separation so corn then second receiving the corn cleaning and all these the these are the first steps conforming to the standards then second is steeping we can see and third is grinding and screening the resultant are germ and water plus fiber now after that second step is starch gluten separation and so the wet gluten will come here and starch is here we can see so there there are the two process and four product first process is grinding screening and second is starch gluten separation grinding is screening has two uh, by products germ separation and heavy steep water and fiber the starch gluten separation has wet gluten and starch now germ germ separation has the end product corn oil 
and heavy steep water and fiber has the end product is corn steep liquor and starch gluten separation the uh, end product is dry 60% protein gluten meal and st for starch separation there are three products what are three products starches ethanol and high fructose corn syrup and before high fr fructose corn syrup the corn syrup the normal corn syrup can be made so we can understand the all products processing by this wet milling diagram now we can see this we can proceed to the fine grinding and extraction the germ removal step is followed by fine grinding in an impact mill to completely disrupt the cell of the endosperm and release the starch granules the resulting suspension is led over bend green cascades cascades are the sieving plates which are in the position in the vertical almost vertical position or tilt position and this slurry goes to uh, cascades these are the metal sieve plates in the form of waterfall for separation from fiber and other corn components the starch milk which contains the protein fraction the so called gluten the protein fraction of the corn is called gluten which passes through from these cascades the bend screen cascades are connected in series as we have seen in wheat the sieving screens are connected into a series for complete washing out of starch and separation of the fiber fibers they are operated by counter flow principle to wash out to the last particle of the protein the separate separated residues are dehydrated and dried for the use of animal feed component referred to as corn feed now the gluten separation the crude starch milk contains all the dissolved proteins the fr this fraction is called gluten and most of it separated off by means of two successive nozzle type continuous centrifugal separators and what is the principle of uh, centrifugal separation as we know it works on the difference of density so heavier particles are separated by the lighter particles in the centrif centrifugal separation so we all know that uh, these uh, two particles which have to be separated are starch and protein so starch has uh, density of 1.5 or higher and uh, protein has density of 1.3 1.3 or lower so uh, protein fact fraction is dehydrated uh, so uh, on the basis of difference in density uh, by the centrifugal force these two are separated now the separated protein fraction is dehydrated by the means of rotary drum filter and then dried and used as a high protein feed additive now the starch milk refining the uh, which still contain approximately 2% of protein and fiber after separation the centrifugal separation it is refined it is then refined into multi step cyclone plant now 
what is the cyclone plant cyclone plant now you can see the cyclone plant here first vapor is you can see the vapor is coming vapor is coming from upside and uh, catalyst vapor is there so vapor comes down and catalyst vapor cre create the cyclone centrifugal force what does cyclone do cyclone creates a swirl in the low pressure area so basically cyclone separators have low pressure low air pressure in there and they create the cyclone with the help of vapor and this vapor helps in separation of solid particulate from liquid by swirling at the high speed so we know the multi step cyclone plant we understand that is one of one and only step of the wet milling process where fresh water is added by optimal construction and adjustment of plant it is possible to reduce the protein content in the starch below 0.3% in dry matter hydro cyclone plants have become accepted for starch refining now the last step that is dehydration and drying the starch milk the refined starch milk with 0.3% on dry basis starch uh, sorry protein in that or gluten what you call it is dehydrated and dried approximately uh, having uh, 65% of water content and uh, the centrifuge the use of centrifuge re reduces the water content about 40% then it is dried up to 14% by the flash dryer so now the corn oil corn oil is extracted from the germ of the oil which we have had the initial step of the milling process we have disintegrated the germ from the watery steep watery plus fiber part it is mainly used in cooking and uh, it is a valuable frying oil and it is also used in um, other type of products so refined corn oil has 99% triglycerides and polyunsaturated fatty acid monounsaturated fatty acid so we can see that how healthy the corn oil composition is omega 3 is there so you can note down the composition in a table form now the steps in production now what are the steps first is raw material that is germ and uh, then manufacturing process uh, is can be cold pressing process by hydraulic press or by other means other automatic pressing cold pressing machines can be used then uh, cleaning and drying the meal that is uh, obtained after oil pressing by hydraulic press can be used as a animal feed so 
basically uh, these oil seeds or germs are passed over magnets before grinding to remove any trace of metal uh, during the milling process if any thing can be there so uh, the metal pro uh, so traces of metals are removed or any extraneous material the hull part or anything like that to remove that first is cleaning process is there then meal is heated the na natural oil making process contains the cleaning then uh, heating or cooking is there then pressing out so it can be cold pressed if it is ready and uh, it can be hot pressed if it is needed so it can be pressed into screw press or uh, hydraulic press or pressurized into slots in the barrel anything can be done depending on the need or the variety of the corn so we we all know solvent extraction is the refining process as well as to obtain additional oil so the refining process is can be done by the solvent extraction a volatile hydrocarbon commonly hexane dissolves the oil out of oil cake so oil cake or the meal that is pressed over it can be extracted for additional oil and it can be refined with the oil contained so in or uh, after that solvent traces are removed with by simple evaporators but with the help of simple evaporator or uh, using the striping column anything like that then refining next step is refining for to remove color odor and bitterness anything like that so refining consists of heating the oil between 107 to 188 degree fahrenheit or 40 to 85 degree celsius heating then alkaline alkaline substance uh are used to form soaps to uh reduce or wash off undesired fatty acids or additives or anything and it can be removed by the soap form formed can be removed by the centrifuge then oil is further washed to remove the traces of soap and then dried so oils are then degummed then by the heating of water up to 85 to 95 degree celsius or with steam or with water or acid degumming process is done and de after degumming then again centrifuge process is there to uh, remove these gums uh, from oil by the use of difference in density of gums and oil so then after the last step is the bleaching <coughs> so bleaching is done and if needed the winterized oil can be made that is <coughs> rapidly chilled to fill and filtered to remove waxes so these are the processes to make the desired type of oil from the corn then packaging can be done in containers like plastic glass bottles cans and can be stored in the cool and dry conditions
so this is it now high fructose corn syrup now the last product is corn steep liquor now the corn steep liquor is a high protein high energy feed ingredient made from the soluble parts of the corn kernel through a steeping process we know all the steeping process process and how the csl that is corn steep liquor is <coughs> processed now csl is a kind of by product produced in processing of the corn starch it is widely used as liquid that is used for binding or as a palating agent in the animal feed and it looks like th this the corn steep liquor and uh, appearance is like a concentrated liquid and color tan to brown color is achieved now the applications it is used as a nutrient for microorganism in the production of enzymes antibiotics and other fermentation products it is sometimes combined with other ingredients in corn gluten feed and widely used in complete feeds for dairy and beef cattle poultry swine and pet foods it may also be sold separately as a liquid protein source for beef or dairy rations uh, cattle feed swine then fishing as a fishing bait as fertilizer or as a component of fertilizer or as a binding agent you no know, these are the this is the composition of steep liquor It's the standard composition which is prescribed as quality specification for wet bases as well as dry bases these are the quality specification and it is packed in a hdpe drums and it can also be customized so i think the three products the corn the preparation of corn starch the corn gluten and the corn steep liquor i think and the corn oil the four products the making of making and processing of four products are clear you can make handwritten notes on the basis of these